tired. And I don't know why I feel like this. <laughs> Before we get started with this video, I just want to preface that it's kind of crazy. It was a really hard week for me. I don't know what I'm going through right now, but mentally, I'm just kind of checked out. And I'm kind of doing a lot of forcing right now, so if you hear me say that, um, I mean, don't get me wrong. In a way, it is in going on mental health, but at the same time, like, this nursing school, there's a lot I have to get done. So, um, it's a lot of me pushing myself to do what I need to do. Um, I don't know what I'm going through, but it's not great. So I just wanted to um, warn you guys that there's a lot of crying in this video. So if you guys aren't into that, then maybe this isn't the video as well. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Sadasa. I make lifetime and nursing related videos because I'm a nursing major. If you like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you don't, that's totally fine. I'm just a normal girl doing normal things. And sometimes, that can be kind of boring. Well, today is Monday. I'm going to do Monday through Friday. Um, I'm currently packing up for my break. So this morning, I went to the library. Well, last weekend. Let me like this one. Um, it's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. And last, or this week, this past weekend, I went home to see my boyfriend on the 11th because that was our anniversary. And then I saw my mom and we went to church in African skirts on um, <clears throat> Saturday. And then Sunday or Saturday night, I went back to see my boyfriend again so we get a little more time together. And then on Sunday, I went and worked out with my dad. That's just kind of his thing and we love working out together. So we did a 15 minute boxing workout and then a 15 minute bar beer, beer workout. <laughs> Anyway, apparently, or this morning, I went to study uh, chapter 33 for Mad Surge, which was, which was coronary artery disease, and then I studied chapter 37, which was peripheral arterial disease and peripheral venous disease, and then I studied chapter 32, which was hypertension. And then I went to get food, and I went to the mail room, and now I'm in my room. I printed out some stuff for my classes, and now I'm going back to the library. So what the plan is to go back through what I did this morning, which will be 32, 33, and 37. And then I'm going to start med start mental health, um, the last two chapters that I don't have a hold on. And then I'm going to study those and get a good hold on those. And after ha I have done all of that, I'll have a good hold on everything, period. So I will have a good hold on everything, period. So I want to start from the beginning. I want to do chapter 31, chapter 35, chapter 30. Two again, chapter 33 again, chapter 37 again, and then I want to do all of mental health. So I'll have everything. So I want to go through everything. So I'm thinking I'll be in the library about three or four hours to get all that done. And then tomorrow it'll be nitpicking med surge, but confirming mental health. Because today is confirming mental health. That's why I'm definitely gonna go through all of I mean today is about confirming med surge, which is why I'm gonna go through all of med surge. But then I need to, you know, get down, have a full grasp on everything mental health. So tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I'll be nitpicking med surge and have a good hold on mental health. So on Wednesday, when I'm taking my med surge test, I'll have known everything, nitpicked what I didn't know and learned all that stuff and be ready for the test. But I'll also have Wednesday night to nitpick mental health. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I tried to explain it because um, that's kind of how my head works when it comes to studying. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm going to go get food. Not sure what they have in the dining hall, but that's where I'm going. And then I'm going to go to the library. Um, I think I want to bring my coffee cup. Um, they say we can't fill up coffee cups or personal cups at the thing, so I always have to get a like the coffee cup they have in there and then pour it into my cup. But I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm gonna be in there for a second, and I was kind of struggling earlier. Um, so I think I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello, 
I'm in the library. Um, I'm going to there. I actually just recorded a video that I have to post tonight. It is Monday. Um, and I didn't record the video before I went home. So I had to record it now. But, um, I am about to separate these. So you guys know I love to separate and get everything as organized as humanly possible. So I have hypertension that I want to go over. Coronary artery disease that I want to go over. Not this. Um, I also want to go over vascular disorders, just PAV and PVD. And then I'm going to go over mental health. Um, I'm going to make a shift to mental health. And then I'm going to start from the beginning. So I'm going to go over tissue perfusion first. And then I'm going to go over dysrhythmias. Or the intro to dysrhythmias is what I should call this page. And then I'm going to go over sinus rhythms. And then atrial rhythms. And then a fib and a flutter. And then PAC. Why does it say PAC? This is supposed to be PVC. And I never called that. But it's PVC, VTAC, and VFib. And then a systole, postal electrical activity, and other dysrhythmias, defibrillation, cardioversion, pacemakers, and ICDs. I will go through all that in this order and then put these three hypertension, CAD, PA, PAD, and PVD on top. So I would just go over all this in order after I finish mental health. And if I get through all of this and it's still in like 7.30, I will go through all of mental health um, again, which is um, OCD, um, system, systematic symptoms disorder, um, and then those are the two from this week. And then from last week, we went over like therapeutic communication, CBT, and um, one more that I can't think of. So I'm gonna be going through all of that, and I will be getting back to you guys when I get dinner question mark or go back to my room question mark. But right now, I'm gonna sit for four hours. around 8 20 i didn't go through all of mental health i actually barely made it through mental health um studying is hard not knowing the stuff is hard and i just sometimes have to push myself to just at least review it so the next time i go through it it's not as hard it's just it's so hard <laughs> to get through the not knowing because it makes me feel like i don't know anything um so it, it was just hard to push through my mental health and i was like wow i actually have two days left for mental health because tomorrow i can just solidify this knowledge i mean i think that was the plan <laughs> but um yeah it just it was freaking me out and then i was i was literally talking to myself like nasa can you trust yourself to go through this stuff in the room and i was literally gonna get up and leave when i was like Kras, you're not gonna do that so um yeah, I'm in my room. I went to the grill. They have spaghetti and meatballs. And I also have bamboo two m and cookies that I didn't eat while I was in there because I was so full from the spaghetti. Dude. <laughs> I know, I know this horrible, horrible nursing school student. But I think I'm sitting in my room very low key today. Um, I guess tomorrow. I don't know how I'm not know it. But I'm still studying. So um, everything I have at the back of my hand except 
the like signs and symptoms of P A D, and then um the I'm trying to think of my notes, but the signs and symptoms for PAD and the other one on PAD too. I know all PV, um, wait, let me make sure. PVD, yes, I know all the PVD. PAD, the medication, I mean, the signs and symptoms, I know like intermittent claudation, um, pain at rest, cold, low calf refill, um, all those like ones you see, I know, but it's the ones that are like, um, Let's see. The thin, shiny, tall, lots of hair. Those are the ones I keep forgetting. Um, and also, um, complications I finally got down. But the names of the drugs for intermittent claudation, I keep forgetting those. Um, and the, all the procedures that you can do. But other than that, I got, I got most of it. Um, those are the only things I'm really struggling with. So what I am doing is, you guys know from my study video that you guys saw last week, that um, I have these sheets, but I also have um, these boards. So what I'm doing is I'm going over the boards in my head, and then if I miss something, then I'll just go to the sheet and be like, hey, um, what did I miss? So that's what I am doing right now, and I'm doing it like every 30 minutes. I'll do two of these. So, um... At around 7 o'clock, I'm going to go get dinner. Um, so at around 7 o'clock, I'm going to go get dinner. I'm going to prep today, so I have shrimp alfredo with broccoli for the next two days. Um, but I made four of them, so if I ever get hungry and I don't want to go to the dining hall, <laughs> um, But I also have to do dishes, um, because I have about four from my room that I know. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do for breakfast, because... Um, I have class who are at nine. So I need to know what I need to do for breakfast because I was not able to um, get food for breakfast. Because um, I spent all my money on gas to get to it from Atlanta from go home last weekend. So I will figure that out. And then um, after I come back from the the grill, it's not the guy who calls the grill. After I come back, I'm going to go through the study, the study guide from the stuff we learned last week. Um, because I got most of it down, I just need to solidify it tonight so that tomorrow when I'm studying, I'm like clarifying that I know everything. So I need to get it down, like make sure I know it so that tomorrow I'm like, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, this, oh yeah, this kind of thing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Ready? Me too. It's Grace. How are you doing, Grace? They have a farm test today, so I came to check in. How's it going? Woo! Okay, so it's in Bailey Silence Center. Um, and that meeting starts at 6. And then I have a delight tonight, which is a Bible study club that I'm a part of. And we meet at 7. So I have my Bible, my Bible study with me, so that I can go there after leaving that meeting. 
I haven't done the actual lesson, but I read the chapters of Joe's Genesis, chapter 11 through 15. So I've done that. And so hopefully I can still keep up um, with everything. But the lesson, usually I kind of like find something I can relate to. So hopefully I can still like relate to something or engage in a conversation. So. We'll see. But, um, well, I don't know. But I just want to give you guys an update because a lot of stuff has been going on. And I actually feel really, uh, I don't know, I feel really weird about something that went down with our grades. But I haven't talked to my mom, possibly the teachers first, um, and then I'll talk to you guys about it. Um, so, yeah. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit. So, um, I, like I said, this week I had two tests. I had a, a med search test and a mental health test. And my med search test, I made a, a 84. And my mental health test, I made a 92. And I'm feeling really good about mental health. And I'm feeling really good about my understanding of med search. Even though I'm not making the grades I want to make, I'm happy with how much I understand the subject. Um, I guess... I don't know, I never, I guess this might be the semester I'm kicked out of all eight mentality. Um, last semester, my GPA got pushed down below the 3.5. It was my first semester not being on the dean's list. Um, and this semester, um, if I make an A in med surge and mental health, but a B in, I mean, if I make an A and mental health and research, but a B in um, med search, I will only raise my point, my GPA two points, which um, is devastating since I wanted to graduate with honors. Um, and then with how hard I'm studying, like with how hard I'm studying, making a 74, it's great, but it's not an A. And that sucks. And I like I feel like a horrible person. I'm upset about not making an A in nursing school when I made a mid B. I don't know why I feel like this. Um but it's okay. Um I just don't know what to do about it. Um and I'm feeling like a decrease in momentum. I had the same feeling around the same time last semester. Um, it was October, right after um, our second test. Around October, it was around our third test, actually, right after midterms, around our fall break. Um, and we're almost there. We're two weeks before fall break, and what I mean, spring break, and we'll have our third test right um, to a week before spring break. So, um, or the week up before spring break, yeah. So, um, I want to keep my momentum, and I didn't study today. Like, if it was the last test, like I would have been in the library today until midnight. Um, sorry. Um, I didn't go to the library today. Like, I... I feel like I can't. Like, I feel like if I go to the library today, I, I wouldn't really be there. Um, and that's scary, because it makes me feel like I'm losing momentum. Like, my brain hurts. It's like I almost forced myself to go to the library, even though I feel like this. But tomorrow... I'm pretty sure I'm going to feel the same way, and I am going to force myself to go to the library because I need to get started on the stuff we learned today.
so that we will learn new stuff next week. Like, I'm already caught up with this stuff. But I'm so tired. And I don't know. I feel like this is just something we've only had to test. And I haven't even started clinicals yet. So I don't know why I feel like this. I'm not really sure what to do about it. I've been thinking about going to a counseling center. But, um... The counseling center here, like, you tell them you want an appointment and the closest appointment is a month out. Um, so there's no point in even going to them because by the time my appointment comes around, I'm going to be too busy. <laughs> um, I just want to feel better. Like, some days I just cry like this for 30 minutes. <laughs> And then I just, you know, go about my business. Like, there's nothing else you can really do. Like, you still gotta do all the stuff. So, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be pretty busy because I also have to, I have an event at 6. So, I'm gonna study in the morning. I'm thinking about going to open lab, but probably not. Um,. I'm just going to sleep in as much as I can and then go to the library um, when I wake up and try to finish the first part of what I need to do. And then if I finish that and go to eat and it's still not like 4, then I'll go back to the library. But if it is around 4, I can do the second part on Sunday morning. Well, I have a meeting on Sunday morning, so I can't, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so, don't know what to do. <sighs> don't really know how to feel. Um, I know I have to make it, so that's something. But that's about it on my feelings. So yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you guys. Didn't really know I was going to cry, but you know, didn't want to talk to you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys with all the random stuff I do tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm in the library. I've been here for about 30 minutes. I'm in the study room and I'm trying to get, um, you guys saw my video last week about how I study. So I'm trying to make those outlines that I make. Um, I'm not here today. I'm trying to not be emotional. I don't know why I'm so drained. But I'm just trying to get these outlines done so I can be done with that step. So on Sunday, I can just go through the outlines. I don't know why I'm so drained. I'm just not really feeling good. So, I'm gonna just try to get through this so that I can go relax. So, um, oh yeah. pretty well because I am gonna attempt to get rid of this hangout. It hurts a lot. I washed my hands. My mom said to clip it off and I think I'm gonna take a suggestion from something I saw on YouTube which said to soak it because then if it's soaked it might come off with a little bit less pain. So this is some warm water. I'm gonna soak that for a little bit. Oh that hurts. That hurts. Okay. 